Oh shit. Okay, we gotta. Well, I mean, I guess. <clears throat> I guess I don't really have to move that fast. It's not like I don't know if we gonna be fighting niggas or not. But I did the little um the little what's it called? I used his uh pause pause. So that's crazy. Whatever the fuck that thing is, I used it so that we could get uh, a melee boost. Cause I know we gotta fight some niggas coming up. Let's go beat some niggas up. Why? Don't go too crazy on this one, way. Did they used to have Ed and Remy saying nigga on the boondocks? I feel like they did, cause I mean R and R. P. to Charlie Murphy, but, and, but both of the characters that were both of the niggas that were playing them were bad, were black. It was Samuel L. Jackson and Charlie Murphy. So I mean, I guess this is true? technically they could have said it. I think they did actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Sammy. Dog eyes did it. Is that what Johnny told you? Why is that pot so bloody? I mean, I know, like, obviously when you cook animals, like, like, if it's fresh, there's blood, but, like, but damn, my nigga, you not gonna get it out the pot? It's coming all out the sides. It's like she fucking, like, she on some Jeffrey Dahmer shit in there. Like, she in there cooking people. Whoa. I gotta go buy a car. Uh, Cause we got a million dollars. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with all this money. Cause you can't even buy guns on this game. You gotta just steal them. I can go get a. I can go get an outfit though. I can get this outfit where like a, an assault rifle spawns in the crib. I was thinking about getting it, but then it's like, what the fuck are we really gonna use that for? Cause I don't even know if you can use it on it. I don't even know if you can use it on missions or not. Skirt, skirt, skirt. I definitely should have stole a gun. Damn, a nigga can't be clumsy. I lose points for being clumsy. All right, got the shit. Right here. Check it, Lau. What is this, man? Stop messing well, around. What the fuck, man? Let's work something out here, okay? Ew! They don't run like that. Oh shit! Uh. Move, move! Oh, oh God! <laughs> He's so pussy, I just said hey and he just starts running. Oh shit, move, move. I, I guess he know, but how does he know that I know? What if I was what if I was here to do business? They, they got That's crazy disrespectful I don't know Jesus Christ, this, he's talking about this nigga's sister disrespectfully as fuck. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. Ugh, and I stuck the landing, come on Anything now. Anything happens to me, Big Smiley is going to send Tong to ask questions. You got it, Wei? Huh? Who, who the fuck is Tong? He's just naming a bunch of niggas. I don't know none of these niggas. Oh. Duke, get down to the docks. I'm gonna need to pick up now. Got it. On my way.
I'm sorry, I feel like the way my mic is set up, y'all can probably hear that I'm like licking my lips, and I hate that, because like, I'll be listening back to some of these, and uh, I can I can hear when I got open my mouth, that shit is disgusting, nobody wants to hear that. So the only solution is to just sit with my mouth agape, like I'm stupid, like I'm slow. You know what's fucked up? And I don't, why, why did they make why did they make the slow kids ride a short bus? Like, what is the science behind that? <laughs> what did what did putting them niggas on a smaller vehicle? What what was that gonna accomplish? Or was that just one of those stereotype things? I don't know why. Whenever I rode the bus, I was getting trouble. I was getting in trouble for stupid shit. Like one time I threw like a car, a deck of cards off the bus because somebody had left them in the seat, and the nigga went and told my grandma. I, I, I dead ass didn't think he was gonna go do that. And I mean, I ain't even really get like in trouble for it like that. She just asked me if I did it, but I didn't think that was something that you could like get in trouble for. I just, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, it, I guess it is like, it's, like it's like littering. But like he left them on the bus, my nigga. That's not that's like you should. You, 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 I get mad at that nigga. I didn't do that. I was just all bored, however many year old. Alright, I'm not about to keep fucking dilly dallying with you, nigga. Hold on. Okay, so about that fucked up adoption joke that I was gonna tell y'all, right? And it's not even really a joke, it's more so just one of those high theories. Bro, I think when you go to adopt a kid, I think they should just bring you a kid. And I mean, I wouldn't know how it goes because I ain't never been in the adoption center. But and obviously they do bring you a kid. But what I mean is, like, don't they give you like they like, they like walk you through like the center and shit, and you just like look at the kids on some like on some weirdo shit, on some ED, on some EDP shit. Like you just go through staring at children. That's not kind, that's not weird to y'all. Like, if, if shouldn't it be like if you're in a situation where you need a kid, right? Or like not you, you need a kid is crazy. But. <laughs> You're in a situation where you want a kid, right? And these kids are in a situation where they want a home. Why do you need to go look at them to see, like, and you just pick them out? Like, that's so fucking creepy. Like, if you're in the adoption center, do you just walk through with the people and then you just spot a kid? Like, you you just look at the little ball kid playing basketball, you're like, you whisper to the lady, you're like, that one. That's... <laughs> That's the one I want. That nigga's gonna make us millions. Bringing me home a little baby, Michael Jordan. But like, Frodo, you don't think that was weird? This shit, like, they treating this shit like kid tender. That's kind of crazy. Like, and I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, because, like, the only time I've seen an adoption process is in movies, so. But the way it looks like in movies, it's always that you go and you pick a kid. And that's not, that's not crazy to y'all. Like, like a puppy. That's that's not wild to you niggas like you go and you look for and you look for like whatever type of kid you think looks the best Cuz it isn't even like like I know I made the kid tinder joke, but uh, No, I guess this is gonna be a crazy comparison, but like on tinder you find out interest and shit These niggas are literally just going and looking at children and I mean I guess they bring the kid and you talk to them, but like I just feel like they should just like it should be some shit where like you obviously you do the background check right because you don't want to I mean and I guess even with the background check you don't know if you're sending somebody to a nasty fuck but you send them through the proper background check you update the background check obviously because I think they should do that too and then after you do that then they just bring you a kid it shouldn't be this whole weird thing where you walk through the fucking through the through the fucking adoption agency like an animal shelter. <laughs> You're just pointing out children like, nah, that's the little nigga I want right there. The little, the little white kid sticking the walls, shooting webs out of, <laughs> shooting webs out of his wrist. Give me that one. <laughs> this shit is like, it's like a fucking lineup when they looking for, uh, <laughs> when they looking for like criminals and shit, they just bring the kids out with numbers and shit. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. 
and they're like, alright, <laughs> can you say, I want to play for the Atlanta Hawks, and they just have all the kids just say a bunch of different teams or some shit like that, <laughs> like they have, they pick it, like, because what are you, what are you picking the kids based off of, that's just crazy to me, I think they should just bring you a kid, like, they need a home, you need a kid, bow, simple transaction, boom, bop, bam, we don't gotta make this whole, this whole weird thing where you, where you, fucking pick which kid you think deserves to have a home. That's kind of crazy. But I mean, I guess you paying for it, but even at that, that's wild. I hope that you don't have to pay to adopt a kid. I hope that, because I mean, I heard you can get money for shit like that, but I hope that you don't, the initial process, I mean, and we, not to sound too much like a hippie, but we live in like a capital, a capitalist world where you gotta pay for a lot of shit, so... But that's crazy. If you have to pay to adopt a kid, that is wild, my nigga. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Paying to adopt a kid is crazy. What the fuck you want, man? You've done some bad things, Sammy. What did you call me? Huh? Nobody call me that anymore. This is about me balling your fucking sister, isn't it? Huh? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Wake you up, gotta kill this nigga. <clears throat> it's not like I put that needle in her arm. Well, you can't I mean, take this stuff personally, way. It was business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! 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 Look at you, stupid bitch. Thought you had one. You thought you had one. You thought you had one. Look, if you don't like it, you take it up with Big Smiley. He's the one who needs the pussy. I was doing my job. Oh, fuck, man. Is this what this is all about? Yeah, and Winston, and Peggy. R.P. to my dog. R.P. to the gang. You're coming with me. R.P. to gang them. Look, maybe we can cut a deal. All right, stop all this shit, man. And I'll make sure that Big Smiley cut you in on one of the side business. Maybe the fucking whole damn thing. I mean, hey, we can be generous, okay? Yeah, he's gonna be the future chairman of the fucking Solar on Ye. Yeah? You and Big Smiley are pretty close, huh? Yeah. We're tight like motherfucking brothers! Me and Winston, we were tight too. I mean, I get that he's mad, but like, he's a cop too, so like, he was gonna tell on the nigga. So I mean, as tight as y'all were, like, you were still gonna send him the fuck to jail. Knowing that he has a wife now. So I mean. Niggas could be as cool as they want. Let's not act like you wasn't here to snitch. I mean, he, he's not here to snitch. He's an undercover cop, but... Hold on, bring me another fat nigga. Come on, where's, where's the big one at? Come here. Right on the hook you go. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> I haven't swung once. These these are the niggas you brought out to fight me. I'm just I'm picking niggas up and throwing them at things. Come on. What's popping? Give a fuck, I'll swing. Come on. <coughs> look at you, 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 look at you. Use a bitch. All that backup, and you still you still couldn't fucking fight. Still couldn't <clears throat> fucking fight. What's up with all them jokes now? I wish we could have picked up his fedora and wore it on the way out. I got him. Way up! The car's over here. Motherfucking bitch ass nigga. <clears throat> I'm bugging. All right, my fault. At that time, I really was just trying to put him in the trunk. God, <laughs> hold on. There we go. This nigga definitely has CTE. All this, all this slamming we've been doing. Right, pause, but I've been fucking throwing him at different shit, slamming his head on shit. This nigga has CTE. He about to sound like Herschel Walker in a minute. What's going on? We're bringing him to Mrs. Chu. She has something she wants to tell him. Mrs. Chu, all right. Bro, I know, like, fucking, uh... <clears throat> we could take care of this ourselves. 
Believe me, I'm tempted. But you and me handle this and it'll happen fast. This son of a bitch deserves the worst we can give him. You're the boss, way. I know that like electoral candidates and shit like that are trying to be more relatable and shit now, but that clip of this nigga Herschel Walker talking about like <laughs> slaying vampires or like hunting werewolves and shit like that, like he's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Bro, what the fuck was he trying to, what point was he trying to, I, I still, to this day, I do not understand that point. And I mean, I'm not the right nigga to be quoting like this. My fucking brain is fried, so I, <laughs> I couldn't really tell you what anybody said. I don't know what point he was trying to hammer home. That nigga was running for like mayor of something, talking to you niggas about hunting vampires and werewolves and shit, like he was on fucking True Blood. <laughs> True Herschel Walker. Hey yo, man, this nigga got up there talking to you niggas about Twilight and giving you niggas the Twilight plot. He said that Bella got pregnant, and that was when I was when I knew. That was when I knew we just we was just fucked up as a country. Like nigga. Aren't you, aren't you trying to be the mayor? I don't need the mayor to be giving me fucking movie reviews. But I mean shit, wilder shit has happened. Well, who was the nigga? What was his name? It was like Mike something. The nigga that released the sex tape because he, he wanted to like he was sex positive. Or some crazy shit like that. Yo man, I swear to god, we live in a simulation. I ain't gonna lie, look, uh, the next nigga, I want somebody to, uh, to somebody to, like, overturn the drug laws, right? We gotta see a nigga we'll light see. up the crack rock on camera. <laughs> none of you niggas, I'm not believing none of this reform shit, uh, none of this, <laughs> none of this driving, we turning man. over drug laws shit. I gotta see you smoke crack on camera, live, like Joe Biden's son. <laughs> I gotta see you light Thanks, up the man. pookie right on camera, nigga. You gotta look like Eminem mama when you done. Or Eminem mom off 8 Mile, because I don't know how she looked in real life. What? What the fuck you doing, huh? Wait, 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 wait! Sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nigga said, wait, wait, wait. Jesus, I haven't been here in fucking years. Sammy, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Oh, Wait, if you have a problem with me, then let's sort it out ourselves, okay? We don't need to bring her into this. Sorry, it's nothing personal, just business. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry, please, please, no, no, no! She literally told the nigga Johnny's in the soup. <laughs> Johnny's in the soup is crazy, my nigga. What did she do with him? If she put the other nigga in some soup, what do you think she turned him into? He's a dog eyes roll. Dog roll. Scooby roll. He's a Scooby snack. Damn, she turned dog eyes into Scooby snacks. Turned that nigga into some Scooby packs. Basically, he's no longer with us anymore. This is what I'm trying to say. I mean, he's no. Yeah, that's no. I said it right. He's no longer here anymore. His ass dead. Dead than a motherfucker. He dead as fuck, boy. Uncle Paul wants to see you at the hospital. Say that. I could, I could probably get this done in 10 minutes. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Head ass. Here? No, I just wanted to see you today. It's sad that my life consists of sitting here watching you pick which car you want to drive. Don't be mad at me because you picked this job, fuck ass nigga. Go work somewhere else. 
nigga violate nigga mad at me because I got multiple whips. I didn't pay for none of these either. Alright, I'm stacking the money up. That's how I got the million. Shit. Stealing cars. Whoa. You know, you know what's funny? I swear to God, when I'm not doing this, I actually drop pretty well on here. There's another one. Or is that the one that we already got? Does it tell you ones that you Because it says I could go. Do you know what I'm not even. Because one of these days I always said that I was going to go and get all of these health trying shits, but. Oh, you know what I could do? I was supposed to go uh, see what's up with the other. Uh, with the other short uh, with Tiffany. But we'll probably do that next time. Next time. Oh yeah, speaking of 8 Mile earlier, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like with movies, and I feel like movies get a, get away with a lot of bullshit because you gotta cram like a, a, a story into like 2 to 3 hours. But we ne nobody ever really talks about the 8 Mile ending enough. And I know that technically it's supposed to be loosely based off the Eminem story, right? So technically the ending of it is that he is turns into Eminem. But fuck all of that. I'm talking about <laughs> the the way that that movie ended. I'm talking about Bunny Rabbit the character. That nigga, nothing really changed. He just won that rap battle. I don't even think he got paid for that bum ass shit. His he was still keeping all his clothes in a trash bag. A nigga he went to high school with was still cracking his mom's. Fucking what else? Wink still fucked his girl. <laughs> he still lived in a trailer park. The only thing he got over on that nigga Clarence is that Clarence was be doing better than him in life. <laughs> that was it. Like, yeah, they, they, he was like, this guy's a gangster. His real name's Clarence. First of all, yes, he has money and he's in the hood. And then be that. I mean, I'm not saying it's because you got money and you be in the hood that means you're a gangster. But I'm saying he got money to get shit done. Like. He could be the he could be he might not be a shooter himself, but he definitely has enough money to where even if them niggas didn't respect him because he went to a private school, he could keep paying them niggas. You got on stage exposed the nigga for being rich. Now all you just now all the only thing you did is now you just upset the rich kids. So now he just has more money to play with, and now you probably just not next week that nigga probably got popped. He ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, I mean, Clarence, so I mean, now that I know you got some money, I mean, I could take care of that for you if you need. Clarence put a bag on that nigga head. <laughs> and I don't get, I like, I, don't, I never understood that bar. Why do you, you, he's pussy because his name is Clarence? Your name is B Rabbit. A nigga named Bunny Rabbit. They named you Bunny Rabbit because you're the white kid. <laughs> a nigga named B Rabbit is clowning you for your name. Bro, the highlight of that nigga's life is his mom winning $200 at a fucking bingo game, which is, and it was four of them niggas in that house, right? And him and his stepdad was probably the same age, so they both probably eat the same amount. So that's probably like, what, like a week, two weeks worth of groceries, maybe, if you stretch it out? Where Basically... Like, they they pumped that rap battle up to make it seem like it was more than it was. He didn't get paid for that shit. He still, he's, he, his fucking, uh, what's it called? He still lives in a trailer park. His clothes are still in a trash bag. And now he made a rich nigga upset. So now he's probably going to die soon. It's, it's not looking good for him. They beat the shit off that nigga in that trailer park. <laughs> And you know what else I don't understand? Why did, why he didn't want to rap on stage, but then all of a sudden at his job, he wanted to be fucking Mr. Skills trying to battle exhibit and shit before the lunch break. Like, nigga, let me eat my fucking burrito. You want to rap and shit. I was trying to get these five bars off and, and leave. You want to have a fucking rap battle. Until you are, well, a man who would continue as you would wish. If they were brazen enough to attack a wedding, we have to assume 18K will be coming after us. I know that you are right. Wait, my boy. Uncle, you're okay. Thanks to you. Sister Chang told me about the troubles between you and Big Smile Lee here. You must stop this fight at once. We must be united against our true enemies. Yes, of course, Uncle Po. Good. Pakmak. See to it that way is formally initiated. 
He's been a loyal foot soldier to the Sun Han Ji. It's time to make him a red paw. Your initiation is young Leon. He has been selling to schoolgirls and was ordered to stop. He switched to the 18K instead. Make an example of him. Thank you. I will. If any of your people have not been properly initiated, bring them with you. Uncle, we still need to decide who will lead us. What about you, Park Mark? You are my greatest friend. You know my wishes better than anyone. Would you not take my place? No, Uncle. I, I am your advisor. I cannot lead in your place. So, if not you, who then? <clears throat> Chu Jin Sao. Mm. He is your true nephew, your blood. Legacy Doya. Too bad to preserve your wishes and keep the family together. How did he get that mm. chain on? Chu Chen, can you handle this responsibility? Temporary chairman? Yes, Uncle. I am ready and grateful for the opportunity. Park Mark, see that it is done. First of all, the fact that they call this nigga Two Chin because he's fat is utterly disrespectful. Jackie, it's Way. Where are you? Getting a massage, man. Let me tell you, the girls here are. Listen, I got some news. <laughs> I'm on my way over. We got an errand to run. See you in a few minutes. Errand to run. We gotta go shoot somebody. We gotta go blam a nigga. He talking. Man, people hurt. That bitch should have got out the way. I'm getting in the car to reverse. What the fuck are you doing just sitting there? Come on now. Let's not be stupid. You know what I used to hate? And I and I, I definitely used to jaywalk. I was like, yeah, I still jaywalk now. But I used to hate them niggas that would just like jaywalk in like the middle of the street when his car's coming. And you would be with them, right? So you don't want to feel pussy because it'll be the homies. But it's like they'll be like, niggas ain't going to hit us. Bro, I can tell you as a nigga that's been driving, and it's not like I've ever been close to hitting somebody, but sometimes it's just like, it's weather conditions. Look, 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 look what I'm talking about. Literally, that that's, that's God for you right there. I'm giving you niggas an example, and I just got hit by a fucking car. But sometimes you just like, it's not up to you like i guess what i'm saying is sometimes when you're driving it's not up to you not necessarily seeing somebody like sometimes like it's just dark my nigga and i don't really have the best eyesight to begin with but they be nigga i guess i just don't like it because niggas say that like niggas are just looking at you like i know this is gonna sound crazy but like niggas are looking at you and deciding not to hit you it's like bro if somebody hit you it wouldn't be because they decided that they were gonna hit you jackie you're gonna love this. What's going on, Wei? Well, you're about to become a full member of the Sun on Yi. Fuck me! Are you sure? I can't believe that dumbass nigga just hit me with yeah, a fucking baby. truck. <laughs> I fucking did it, yeah! Oh, don't worry about it, my man. It'll be your turn soon. Jackie, they're making me a red pole. What? Holy shit, Wei! Holy fucking shit! Come on. It's up for the guys, yeah. man. Me and the, me and the guys, is, man. We getting no to it. No shit. Hey, wait. Don't think I don't appreciate it. I know it wouldn't have been possible without you. No problem, Jackie. Yeah, hey, I don't got time for this massage. Let's go. get the fuck Bye on the road. Treat. Come on, man. No, uh, we, we need to go. I do not have time for this bullshit. I don't uh, need a bitch to rub on. Well, I mean, I do, but. So, what's this Eric? <laughs> Part of our initiative. Not right now. You know this guy? Not right now, gang. We got some errands to run. Young is one of us, wait. Came up in old prosperity just like you and me. Well, he's been dealing oh, with a the kid. That we they ordered him to stop with a couple that of times. Okay. Did they tell you much about the ceremony? Just that we're in it. Brothers after that. Man, son I mean, on ye, brothers. Thought we yeah. did brothers, but. Hey. Oh, what? oh. I went out with you made the other day. <laughs> Finally asked her out, huh? So how'd it go? Man, I made her laugh so hard. I read that somewhere, that if you make a girl laugh, she'll fall in love with you. <laughs> I think if you're funny, she'll fall for you. Same thing, isn't it? Definitely. He just tried to word it differently, like you didn't just say that. Don't let that nigga steal that from you. Get rich off rap shit like free. Hey, where's Young? Alright. 
it's fine cuz I'm a, I'm literally going to do a, under the other one like right after this but we just going to have to do this shit in the second one so um you niggas what's the y'all gonna watch um Go watch Napoleon Dynamite. I feel like I probably said go watch that already, but at this point, I'm going to just start telling y'all to go watch shit that I've never seen before. So go watch that. Go listen to, um, go listen to What It Looked Like by Chief Keith, because I've been listening to that a lot recently. Uh, have a good day doing whatever you got to do. Tell the people that you love that you love them. Go get some money. Stay safe. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Bye.